Hello dear friends, I would like to just do a short market overview. As you know, I like to do that every few weeks or so, just to give you a general orientation of all major financial markets. Let's start with stocks actually. So as predicted, stocks came down a lot. The ones who have followed my market overviews over the last month, I know that this was expected. A proper pronounced down move, not only a pullback, 3,765 back down from the high at 4,800. Here we have the V from 2019-2020. So yeah, quite massive losses in the stock markets. What will happen now? Now after this predicted down move, it's not so clear whether it will do some kind of trend resumption or will fall further or do some kind of consolidation. Difficult to predict. So after this uh, sell prediction, the market now is neutral and we stay away. Gold, the ones who see the live stream, you see some longies there right now, so we'll probably go down a bit in the short term, but overall looks rather bullish. We have this double top here, this 2020 price now is 1834. I could imagine if uh, we have a further increase of financial problems around the globe, um, gold could actually go up a little, but it's a low bias. Oil, as you know, we predicted it will go up a lot, and that's exactly what happened in the end, even driven, of course, by the Ukraine-Russia crisis, went all the way to 126.7, and then went up again, but now did a pullback down. That was a great prediction as well. Stocks down, oil up, but now also it's neutral and we stay away. Just for fun, the coffee future market, 232. Went uh, up a lot in the last two years. Now some, some kind of consolidation. Neutral, we stay away. Okay, cryptos. Let's start with Bitcoin and here the market causality. As I've said, live longies came to the market. The Bitcoin went all the way down, pulling down all crypto markets across the board. Uh, watch the older videos. So crypto is now behaving like Forex, not the other way around. The algo manipulation is now similar to Forex. And... Uh, Bitcoin went down against the longies. Ethereum, this is a day chart, look at that. Uh, it can fill the gap from 2020 at 768 if it wants to. Of course, in the long term, this looks pretty cheap if uh, the overall idea and technology uh, survives, which seems to be the base case. So yeah, in the long term, cryptos look very cheap right now, for sure. But in the short term, they can drop further. So I would say in a few weeks for the long-term investors, there could be good entries long in the cryptos. Just a fun year, single stock, uh, JP Morgan. This is an example. You see uh, 115 came down a lot in the last month uh, from the highs in uh, 2021. Could even also fill here the gap. And the stock like JP Morgan also is connected to a lot of other stocks. So keep that in mind. Okay, let's turn to Forex. Euro dollar here, day chart. This is July 2021. 20, the big down move, we have documented that live. Longies came in again and again and again, the green bars. Down money buyers trying to buy reversals and again and again and again, over weeks and months, failed reversals resulting in this downtrend, yeah, against the longies, taking the stops. So that was very easy to trade, typical squeeze move scenario, yeah. And many of you have traded it very well and it was an easy market phase. Now things are changing. There's some kind of double low and we have a bit of a down money switch today. Many stops have been taken. The markets can snap and, you know, do like a grip up and take some of the moving averages stops here on the day chart. But it will be back and forth. It can take some time. Cable followed that even the more pronounced down move here because many longies came to the market trying to buy a reversal. They kicked them all out. But overall, a similar uh, market structure and therefore movement. EG, as predicted, first went up, took the uh, empty on the high, then went down. It's neutral now. Uh, we stay away. Very erratic price action, even the high time trends. But look, longies, boom. The money switches, shorties, red bars, boom. Up move, yeah? Take note of that. Dollar yen, yeah, we documented that several times. Massive uptrend. Shorties came into the market, selling the market, therefore the algos pushed dollar yen up here just for fun uh, dollar cut very consolidating here even on the day chart because of switching the money flow neutral now 
Und Paul und Jen also Abmuffing against the shorties, Abmuffing against the shorties, Abmuffing against the shorties.